Okay, so I was able to find an F8th inch. This is actually uh, one of the engine brackets that I made. I made two of them. I apologize for my dog barking. But anyway, I've got the uh, perimeter traced out. I used a little compass here. Traced that out, punched the center hole, and punched three holes uh, near the perimeter. These holes will bolt the bracket to the sprocket. And then I'll, once I get this all cut out and centered up, then I'll determine uh, the three holes I need to drill in here to connect the bracket uh, to the hub. So I'll come in here and I'll uh, drill out these holes and uh, we'll keep working on this. Okay, so I got my holes drilled uh, on my retainer plate and I just drilled out these three here at the end. They're still eighth inch and I'm gonna leave those like that for a while. Uh, this uh, center hole, I drilled that all the way out to three quarters of an inch and uh, I like to leave to do all my drilling while the piece is still uh, pretty large. I don't want to, I'm not going to cut this out uh, right away because it's easier to, uh, you know, have areas you just set this off to the edge here and then slide your clamp on there and it's really easy to clamp down and you get a nice uh, easy uh, piece to work with and then when you're finally done with all your drilling and stuff like that then you cut it out but uh, to start with I always like to leave it you know, as full of a piece as I can and work with it and then cut it out at the end. Okay, so I'm ready to scribe my holes. I want to scribe uh, onto this retainer plate the three holes that I drilled and tapped into the hub. And I still had some of that uh, jack shaft left over. This is a little section that I cut off. Uh, it was excess that I didn't need, but I held onto it and I'm really glad I did because now I have a perfect three-quarter inch uh, sort of a die kind of thing so now I know that my hub is centered over my retainer plate so I just come in here I've got this little scribe tool make sure you keep this steady try not to turn it too much and just scribe your holes into your retainer plate and they're kind of hard to see but they're there uh, the little holes that I need to drill so I'll come in here with the uh, the old uh, center punch and uh, punch those and then uh, drill them out okay what you can't see too well underneath uh, this cover plate is the sprocket well, you can see a little bit of it out there and the hub is under there and I've got these uh, three bolts just kind of positioning it in place and of course I have my last little bit of a, a jack shaft uh, as a centering tool so now what I'm going to do you can see I got it uh, the sprocket clamped to the bracket I'm going to come in here and I'm going to drill out or at least mark uh, the holes that I need to drill into the sprocket and that will be really about the last step we need to do here uh, after we do that We'll uh, drill these holes out bigger, uh, probably to 5 16 to match uh, the bolts in the hub, and uh, then cut out our bracket. And there we go, we got our three holes uh, drilled out on our sprocket, matches our, uh, our uh, template here. So we're ready to come in here on the, on the uh, bracket and uh, drill those holes out. There you go, you kind of get the basic idea of how this is uh, all going to work. Of course you got the center jack shaft, you got a bolt here that mounts the bracket to the hub, and then out here on the side you got three bolts that mount the sprocket to the bracket which is mounted to the hub. It's just that simple.